To begin the disassembly of your T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide, you are first need to going to remove the battery backdoor housing cover. Simply use your fingernail and slide it all around the sides, being very careful as it is plastic and can crack very easily. Once that is removed, you will need to remove your battery as well as micro SD card and SIM card from the phone. Next, using a Torx 5 screwdriver, you're going to need to remove the following four screws, two at the bottom and two at the top. Next, using a Phillips screwdriver head, double zero size, you are going to remove the two screws in the middle of the phone. Next, using a safe open pry tool, you will remove the little plastic housing on the bottom of the phone. This is held in by adhesive, so it is a little difficult to pry off. Be very careful when doing this because it can once again crack very easily. With that removed, you can now release the bezel around the sides of the phone. Use a safe open pry tool and simply just go around all the sides of the phone releasing the bezel clips safely. Be careful, once again these are plastic and we suggest using a safe open pry tool so that you do not cause any damage to the phone. Once that is removed, you can now remove two additional screws on the top left as well as one screw on the top right. The two on the left are Torx 5 screws and the one screw on the right, as shown right here, is a Phillips double zero size screw. With those screws now removed, you can release three flex cables along the sides of the phone that are held in with adhesive. One being the power cable, as shown here. Once again, it is held in with adhesive, so be careful. The other is the volume up-down ribbon, once again held in with adhesive, so be careful when popping that off. And the third one, shown in just a moment, is on the other side of the phone, and that one will need to be released as well. Once those three cables are released, you can now go ahead and release one more flex cable on the right side of the motherboard. Using a safe open pry tool, pop it right off. Next, you can go ahead and release the motherboard from the actual phone. Go along the sides, releasing the clips, holding your motherboard in place, being very careful not to actually damage your motherboard. Underneath your motherboard is a flex cable from the keyboard which is into your phone. You will need to release this flex cable and pop it right off. Be careful doing this, but it should come off with very little pressure. Now you can go ahead and separate the motherboard from the LCD display housing. Be careful because the motherboard is still held in with these little Wi-Fi cables that you will need to separate. Next, you will need to release the following eight Phillips head screws on the back of the keyboard housing.
With the eight screws removed, you can now separate the keyboard from the actual LCD display monitor. Be careful as the keyboard is still held in with a flex cable, so you will need to release this flex cable very carefully. As you can see, it is held in on two sides as shown here, so be careful when prying that off. And in addition to this, there is adhesive under that black portion, so you will need to pry it very, very slowly. Next, using your finger, you will need to release the silver frame around the side of the phone. This does cover up two screws that you will need to remove as well. Once this frame is released, you can go ahead and remove the two screws on the top as well as the two screws on the bottom of the back panel. Next, you can go ahead and release the bezel frame from the back of the phone. Please note that be below this bezel is a significant amount of adhesive, so if you are having a hard time release releasing the bezel, you will need to use a hot air heat gun or a blow dryer. This will take a few moments to actually separate. We have sped up this process significantly in the video. Next, you will release the plastic buttons on the bottom of the phone. This will help you remove the digitizer touchscreen easier a little bit later. Now, you can go ahead and release the digitizer cable held into the back of the phone. Slowly pull back on the Kapton tape and release the Jawbone white connector pushing it upwards with a safe open pry tool and pop out the digitizer flex cable of your touch screen. Using a hot air heat gun, heat up the front as well as a little bit of the back of your screen. This will loosen up the adhesive securing your LCD touch screen and display together. Once adequate heat has been applied, use a safe open pry tool and run it along the sides of your touch screen glass. Please note we have sped up this process significantly and it will take you about 2-5 to five minutes to properly do this. Be very careful not to damage the LCD during this process as it is a very delicate piece of equipment. Once this is complete, you can go ahead and replace either your touch screen glass and or your LCD display monitor.